like a hell cut. Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes, as always, with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Then I'm going to take my Tartlet Tees palette and I'm going in with the shade Whisper and setting that primer. Now I'm going to take the shade Wink and make this my first transition color. It's not going to show up that much just because my camera is not really picking up the color, but it's a very light, kind of mauve purple. And then to deepen up that transition color, I'm taking Makeup Geek Unexpected and I'm um, focusing this on my crease. Now to start drawing the crease, I'm going to take BFF in my Tartlet Tees palette and I'm just going to start defining my crease. I'm placing it a little bit above my natural crease, if you can see. Um, just a little bit above my natural crease line because if I did just draw it directly into my crease Once I open my eyes you guys won't be able to see the cut crease and this step does get very messy and it looks horrible But we'll clean it up in the end And then we're just gonna go back in and blend um, without adding any additional color So this is where we start cleaning up. We're going to take our MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and you can take any flat concealer brush and just really start drawing um, under that crease line just to clean it up to give it that very sharp and crisp look. My favorite thing about this is that if you were to have brought your crease color too low, you can still use this to clean it up to kind of make your crease or make it look like you have more lid space. And then I'm just going to go in back with Whisper and place it all over where I put the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now we're going to deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm taking BFF again and I'm just going to focus this onto um, the crease line because we really want it defined and we want it to really show. And you can kind of see how this really gives your cut crease a lot more definition. Now I'm going to take NYX Cosmetics um, Crystal Liner in the shade Crystal Silk and I'm going to draw this um, exactly where I drew my cut crease. I just wanted to give it more of a glam look and just make it a little bit more girly and fun. And then for my winged liner, I'm going to use Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I tried to be very careful because I wanted to keep the wing kind of thin. I didn't want it to be too thick because then that would totally defeat the purpose of making my eyes look like I have a larger lid space. And then for lashes, I'm using Coco Lashes in the style 501. It's good to use wispy lashes when you did a lot of hard work on your eyes because you don't want to use dramatic lashes and have it cover up all your shadow. Now we're going to do complexion. I'm starting off with my Lancome LA Base Pro Primer. This is a very good smoothing primer. Then for foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. And then to highlight and conceal, I'm taking that middle vanilla shade from my Contour Cosmetics Cream Contour Palette and I'm just concealing and highlighting per usual. Now 
now I'm taking that warmer brown shade and I'm gonna use this to contour I didn't want to do a really harsh contour so you can see I'm just putting like little dots and dashes around my face we don't need to do anything crazy and I love using a stippling brush to blend everything out because I feel like it really diffuses the product and it doesn't leave any harsh lines this brush was actually um, a contour cosmetic stippling brush that they sent to me and I love it I will try to link it down below for you Now going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, I'm taking the shade Fawn and I'm using this just to set all the areas that I added the cream contour. And then for blush, we're going in with Tarte Cosmetics blush in the shade Exposed. I love this mauve color, it is so perfect on every skin tone. And then to finish off our eyes, we're going to take BFF and place this all over our lower lash line. And then we're going to take um, Unexpected and blend it out just to kind of give it a more smoky finish. Then after that, we're going to take our Too Faced Perfect Black Eyeliner and place this into our waterline. And then also, I'm going to take a flat brush and just kind of smoke out that liner a little bit so it perfectly blends into the shadow. Now to highlight our face, I'm going to be using the Balm's Mary Luminizer. It is seriously one of my favorite highlighters at the moment, you guys. This stuff is seriously amazing. Last but not least, our lips. I'm going to take Kylie's um, Dolce K Lip Liner. I'm just lining my lips and filling it in a little bit. And then I'm going to take the Coco K Liquid Lipstick and place this all over. Um, my trick with this is I take a little bit of a flat concealer brush and blend everything in to each other to give my lips kind of that ombre look. Just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. See you next time.